Hey, what's up everyone? Keith here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In this quick video, I want to show you how to use the extended profile add-on um, for the WPE member plugin to create an alumni site. Now, the first thing you want to do, of course, is get WPE member installed and activated and all the basic setup done. And once that's finished, um, you can download the extended profile add-in from the forums area. Just log into the forums area on Tips and Tricks HQ and go to the add-on section and download the extended profile add-on and once you have it installed or downloaded to your computer we can install it go to plugins add new upload choose file and then we'll choose the e-member profile extended click install now and then we'll activate it now the first thing we want to do here is create a page um, to show a user profile on. So I already created one. I'll just show you how I went through that process. Click on Add New and give it a title. Click on Publish. And as soon as you publish, you'll see a View Page link up top. Right click that, click Copy Link Address. Um, here's the address we want that it shows up right here. Now, the first thing we want to do here is go to WPE Member member profile extended click on that and then scroll down and we're gonna paste that URL it's already in there but we're gonna paste that in and then click on save um, the reason it's already in there is because I already went through this process before recording the video um, so it's retained those settings anyway so click on save and now we can go through and decide which fields we want to show up on that particular page we can just select those from here and then we can scroll down to the bottom and click on generate short code and the page will refresh we just grab this short code right from the top here right click copy and we go back to our pages all pages and then we can edit the user profile page um, just click on edit and then we can paste in the short code in there click on update so this, now this page will show um, whatever details we set in here for the fields. That's what will show up for the for a particular profile. Now let's go back to WP member, member profile extended. And now we're going to set up the alumni list page. So what we need is to grab a short code for that. So scroll all the way to the bottom, all the way past this. And right down here we'll choose, and we're probably going to get more, use more fields on this one. I'm sorry, we're going to use less fields because this is just a profile summary page. Um, so we'll, just use, we'll use less fields than we would for the detailed page. And then click on generate summary short code. It'll refresh the page. Now your short code's at the top and we can grab that. Copy it to the clipboard and we can create a new page. Call it the alumni list or something like that. And then we just paste in the, uh, the short code. Now this page will generate a list of all the users in the system. Um, and basically that, that's really all there is to it. Um, what I do recommend though is creating a, a free membership level. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So go to WPE member and membership level. Okay, and then I already have one in there for a free membership level, but all I did was click on add, add new, gave it a name, and gave it the settings that I wanted. Um, I didn't really change much at all, but just give it a name. And then we'll make note of the level ID. So then we can go to the settings under WPE member and just tell the plugin that yes, we do indeed want to allow free membership, and this is the ID for it. So then you scroll to the bottom, click on update options, and then you have the ability to sign up for free members to your site. Now let's take a look at the page that we created um, for the alumni list. I have a couple in here because I was playing around with it before. I'll just click on view and this will show a list of all the users, only one right now, um, that are not part of the system. So then we can look at the details of that particular user on the profile page. So whatever settings we set, whatever fields we selected will all show up on the on the details page here. All right, and that's all there is to it. Uh, again, this is Keith, Tips and Tricks HQ. Thanks for watching.